Hola, soy Julio Cesar Chávez. And lights out, baby. Lights out all day. This is Sugar Ray Leonard, and you listen to Fight Net Radio. I mean, this is ridiculous. It's a radio show. It ain't a one-hour television spectacular. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. We gonna know. I got eyes and ears everywhere. I got friends all over the world, man. Who oh, gives a shit with white? He's a piece of crap. With a tear in my eye. Radio Lehana, Chandra Labache, Miguel Antonio Barragon. Live from Las Vegas. Yeah, killing it. Andrew's got the baby in the background. I'm living it up in Vegas. Living la vida loca. I'm killing it, Andrew. I'm killing it in Vegas. Let me say it again. I'm killing it in Vegas. Yeah, I'm having fun, dude. Got to play golf today. I went to the weigh-ins. I uh, went to tacos and beer. I'm going to go skydiving tomorrow. Uh, You know, I got a lot planned for this big fight weekend. Uh, with all of that said, we are here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to talk about betting because that's the betting show. Uh, so if you're hearing this in the morning, maybe the numbers change. If you are listening to it uh, Friday night, that's what the numbers are right now. So let's start with the weigh-in. Nothing really came out of the weigh-in, more the bullshit you know, stare downs where everybody believes Teofimo is getting under the skin of Vasily Lomachenko. Uh, I'll start with you, Miguel. Did you see anything with the weigh-ins that led you to believe something special by the weigh-in? Uh, no, no. I mean, you know, Lomachenko is very, he's very stoic. So it didn't look like, uh, you know, he was getting, uh, Teofimo was getting under his, his skin whatsoever. It, it did look like he tried. You know, he was trying to, to look super intimidating. There was, they exchanged some words when they had the face off. Um, I mean, I'm not even sure if, you know, uh, what's his name, Vasily even understood what Telfimo was saying. But nonetheless, uh, no, it, it didn't look like that Lomachenko was phased whatsoever. Uh, Andrew, uh, you got a chance to review the videotape that is out. And if you want to go see it, go to at fight.net.radio on Facebook. I've managed to get video up. Uh, my video didn't come out as good as YouTube's video, uh, which is actually top rank. So I just posted a link to the top rank video. It was much nicer. Uh, Andrew, what did you see in the way in? Anything special? Um, no, nothing special. I like that both guys got in each other's face. You know, they're they're selling the fight. You know, uh, but no, I, I didn't. I don't think anyone won the way in. Um, they both look. Uh, I liked what you know ESPN. I think it was Timothy Bradley said they're both thoroughbreds. Um, that's mm-hmm. so what it looked like. Can't wait. I'm excited for tomorrow. Um, Seems like uh, Telefimo, he, he came on late in the gambling. Did you see this? Right, right. So uh, our correspondent in Las Vegas, Guillermo Willy uh, Jimenez, who has not hooked up me up with me while I'm in Vegas, Andrew. I can't imagine why. Um, I don't think he can find me. I'm so busy. I'm so busy with the girls and the partying and just, li- you know, hanging out at the Circa now, now that it's the place to be. Uh, Andrew, why don't you talk about your exchange with uh, Guillermo? He was on the other side of town hitting multiple casinos looking at the numbers. Well, I'm, you know, I think last week you had said the numbers were 4 to 1. Um, three, for, about for, 350, anywhere from 350, 300, 350 to 400, depending on the day. Plus 300, plus 350, plus 400. Today, today I got uh, a text message. I guess you got the same text message that we're at plus 120 right now for Telefimo Lopez. So a significant drop there. Here's what I didn't understand from that. Was he doing that because he was at MGM? I mean, I didn't get a chance to go look at the uh, MGM Sportsbook. It was just so crowded, Andrew. I couldn't fight my way through it. I mean, the throngs of fans to show up for a bubble fight, after all. We're just so tremendous on the strip. I didn't really want to fight with anybody. You know, after the big Mayweather Pacquiao blow up that we almost had in the sports book, you know, a couple of years ago, I didn't want to deal with the Teofimo Vasily Lamanchenko crowd. You know how Russians can be. So um, I, the way he was describing it, my feeling was that sounds like MGM's number. I, and I don't know if it was to entice him because at the end of that, he was saying that Station Casinos, which is always my last stop uh, to go place a bet, uh, 
I'm more intrigued with, uh, he said he could still get plus 300. I believe that was his last text over at the uh, station casino. That's what he was going to do. He was going over to the station casino for plus 300 still. And that was whatever never, time that was, one or two o'clock. Um, he never sent He never sent the text to confirm that, though. Um, so, you know, if you can send him a text right now to see what the, the station was. But uh, it's still a significant drop. Look, Lopez got hot on the Internet. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people taking him right now. Uh, is it is it more because of his mouth or his his resume? You know that's that's the big question that he needs to answer tomorrow. Um, because him and his father do a good job telling fights. Um, they're all over YouTube. A lot of guys like putting microphones in front of them because they give a good interview, and you know they're just they they are always on the edge. Of that. Um, they're like the top ranked Danny and Angel Garcia, um, but hopefully better fighting, uh, better trainer, better fighter, and they have the uh, different results than what Danny usually has when he's in the ring. You know, and again, I'll go back to this for those that are in Vegas like myself. Um, be aware that if they're not getting enough action to offset Vasily Lomachenko, of course they're going to drop down the odds to make Teofimo seem like he is somehow magically um, a better bet. Or maybe to lay off, right? Maybe they got so much action at plus three, plus three fifty, plus four, depending on the day, that they brought it down to a plus one twenty, one fifty. Um, or maybe just to entice him, you know, just to build up the fight. No, go ahead and say that again, Andrew. I said I think that number was uh, driven down by bet, um, by them betting. Um, like I said, you, you've seen a lot of um, athletes boxers coming out backing Lopez. I, th I think that's going to go straight to the, the bookie over there and wherever they're gambling at, even if it's on the phones now, and it, it brings the numbers down. Um, it, I, I don't think Vegas is, is uh, I don't know, plus 120. That, that does, to me... Oh. Uh-oh. Tomorrow. Um, you know, he's He's never done anything like this. I don't. I don't even think a one twenty is worth the bet. Um, I don't either. I don't. I don't either. And and that would be a lot of late money. And I don't know how much of that is dictated by the web. Um, I think the bet here, as I review everything, yeah, there's some select rounds. I'm not going to play that bullshit game. You know me, Andrew. I'm all about trying to figure out the angle to pay for my trip in Vegas. And with the honeys on my arm and a big fat bottle hanging at the pool, up to my nose in the jacuzzi, and later, Hakkasan to go dancing with none other than Vasily Lomachenko himself at Hakkasan. Um, you know, I got to pay for this trip somehow, uh, you know. So let's get to it. Let's talk about betting this bad boy and making it happen. I start with you, Miguel. Um, don't worry about the numbers. Don't worry about the place bet. I'll tell you plus or minus what your bet is. Uh, and where it stands. How are you? How would you bet it, not knowing the numbers, Miguel? Uh, well, for Loma, definitely uh, Loma within the distance. Whatever the you know the I guess under the the distance. Uh, I would. I don't think it's going to go the distance. I I anticipate uh, Lee uh, Telfimo like quitting on his stool, and I don't even like using that term "quit" because I just feel wrong saying that when it comes to fighters. But we have seen some fighters quit. You know, there are there are the occasional Chavez Juniors out there that do quit. But uh, <laughs> I don't. I anticipate this fight not going the distance. So I'm going to say Loma, and uh, you know, within the the twelve rounds. It's not a 12-round over-under. Believe it or not, the over-under is 10 and a half. Does that change your bet on the over-under? Um, a, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll come back to you. Andrew, uh, over, let's start with the over-unders. What do you like? You know, I'm, I definitely want to take the over um, because yeah, I've been picking Lomachenko by decision, and, and I'm going to stick with that. Even though Lopez has been getting hot here lately, it seems like a lot of people are picking him. Um, I just I can't I can't lay my money down on on against Lomachenko yet until I see it. Look, you know, as much as we said that 
Lomachenko has been looking a little bit older in his last few fights. Um, still dominating performances when you really think about it. Uh, the Lenatis fight, he gets dropped in round five or six. Um, he gets up to dominate the rest of that fight. Um, Luke Campbell, there was uh, maybe three rounds where it was competitive. The rest of it, I think sometimes the bar is really too high for Lomachenko. Um, there's really not a moment that that he he was getting beat so bad. You, you could say a guy that's so green. And, and to me, Lopez is very green going into this fight. Um, mm-hmm. Another thing I noticed looking at, at – at um, Lopez and, and making me stick with Lomachenko by decision is is the fact that he he fights a lot of guys that are right in front of him, and he's not going to see that. Now I hate using the word he's the matrix, but the dude's awesome. Lomachenko is awesome on the inside. He can dip. He can sidestep. He he counters his body. He's one of the best body punchers. Very underrated on body punching. That's something we haven't seen Lopez go through yet. You know when the guy sidesteps you and throws a right hook to your ribs. Or goes on the other side of you and throws a straight left. His power shot right to the midsection. Um, he dropped Petraza and Lenatis with body shots. Just beautiful um, accuracy on, on them. One was a liver shot, I think they said, on the, the Lenatis. Right under his punch. So there's so much uh, resume to the young, the, what, the, the 15 fight career of Lomachenko. I think 12 of them were champs. Um, I can't bet against him. I cannot bet against him, so I'm staying with the over. I, I think he's going to be nervous. they got to be nervous of Lopez's power. One thing Lopez has is a great knockout reel already. So so they've got to be nervous about the power. I see them staying away, trying to find their shot, get the kid, in, the young man, into the, the deep waters late in the fight, turn it on to, to cap a, a decision. I, I think he's counting the rounds in this fight. There you go. Uh, I turn it back to you, Miguel. Now that you've heard the opinions of the greatest uh, prognosticator since Jimmy the Greek himself, and Andrew has not claimed that black people are just better through genetic breeding, just so everybody knows. Um, Miguel, how do you bet the fight? Uh, I mean, that that does... It it sounds more, more likely that it'll go the distance... It'll go the the full twelve rounds. Um, I, I do want to mention something that uh, that Andrew did mention also. Uh, Lomachenko's underrated body work. Um, that the two most recent fighters that he's had trouble with, Linares and Campbell, um, Lomachenko actually hurt to the body as well. You know, he did uh, drop and ultimately you know finish um, Linares with that, and then also uh, Luke Campbell. Uh, Campbell, those a few times where he had Campbell up against the ropes and he was landing those hard ass shots. Like it, he makes his movement, uh, Vasily's movement makes fighters almost doubt themselves and it, it kind of lessens their output. And it, with a guy as young as, um, uh, as Teofimo is, I, I feel like his, it, not, not, no knock on his ring IQ, but I feel like he's, because he's younger, he's more susceptible to that doubt to that doubt and he'll end up punching less than he wants to because of Vasily's movement. Um yeah, I, I think I think maybe it will go the distance. Yeah. The twelve rounds. Uh, okay. Another thing another yeah, thing ahead. Lee that I I look at on, on this fight when I looked at both of their opposition, try to dissect their careers, right? Jorge Lenata is, is like a perfect Telefimo Lopez, right? They're the same power, same speed. So you can you, you can give Lopez, the IQ, same IQ, even though I don't know if that's true or not, I'll give it to him. I think Jorge Lenana has been better um, in, in the, the height, right? He's taller. He's longer. So, so he was better than Lopez going into that fight. Yes, it's a good fight, but it's still a dominating win for Lomachenko. Lopez, listen, they kept saying Lenares needs to stay on the outside and box. And I think it was the angles and the movement of Lomachenko that pissed Lenares off where he just wanted to get him on the ropes and try to manhandle him. Something that we said Lopez has to do tomorrow night. Lopez can't box this guy. He's going to have to somehow work him into the ropes, and when he gets there, he can't throw jabs. He's got to throw his power. He's got to go for it. You know, it's going to be a fight. I I always say this, you know, they're going to probably be um, down on the cards when when they're given the victory. But if, if Lopez can use his youth and his strength 
to somehow pressure Lomachenko to get him to the ropes. And it's hard. He's a dancer, right? Another thing they like to say about the guy, he sidesteps everywhere. He knows how to move. He's got to get him to the ropes and try to work to fight out of him. I do not see him staying on the outside and, and being able to do better than one of the best boxers of this era in Jorge Linares. Linares was a true lightweight champ and probably had the best uh, uh, um, offense to beat Lomachenko the night then two fought, and Lomachenko knocked him out. Well, I'm about to make everybody money, as usual. That is my job on the show. Uh, when I first got to Las Vegas, I sold a bucket load of sperm over at the sperm bank, so I've got an extra five grand burning a hole in my pocket at this moment. I'm betting $5,000 on the following bet. Uh, I'm going to take the minus 400 right off the top. And here's why, for those of you who can't do math. I will get 60% on my money. I don't know what bank everybody banks at. And uh, I like when we do it. I like when yeah, you no do sh- it. No shit. It's 60% on your money. How many of you fucking douchebags think you're getting 60% on your money unless you're working with Bernie Madoff, for God's sakes. That's a no-brainer at four to minus 400. Okay, so I'm going to take that easy money right there. But here's where I turn it on its head. At plus 120 on the board, the overs, I'm going for the parlay to take this to about a minus 200 and roughly get 80% of my money back. Uh, an 80% return on my money, and you can take that. I feel like I need a bank sound effect. You can take that to the Cha-ching. bank. <laughs> Cha-ching. No doubt. I want the decision. I uh, Here's the one hedge to the bet, because it is plus 2,000 at the moment. I am putting a $5 wager on the draw. Straight up, 5 bucks on the draw. Okay? I still believe what Bob had to say on our last show. He's working on the trilogy. If this thing's even in the ballpark of close, I guarantee Bob makes this fight a draw. So drop a nickel on the draw. That's a $10,000 return, kids, for those of you doing math, at plus 2000 That's a no-brainer bet all by itself. That means I get all my cake. I eat it, too. The only way is for Tio Fimo to pull this out of his ass. I don't think he can knock him out which means he'd have to get a 12-round decision. And if it was even remotely close to Teofimo pulling an upset off of Vasily Lomachenko, it's going to be a draw. I think this is a mortal lock. You've got it fucking hedged. Teofimo can't knock him out, period. Everybody just back away from your laptops that think that, right? And if you do, you're probably not a regular listener of this show. You just happened upon this in one of the boxing rooms. Here's my advice. You don't know a lot about boxing if you think Lopez is actually going to knock him out. That means if he wins by decision, you think Bob is going to let Teofimo Lopez take a decision? No way. No way. It's a draw. One judge has it as a draw. One judge has it for Lomachenko. One judge has it for Teofimo Lopez. That's the draw in the making plus 2,000, drop a nickel spot on that, and you are still talking hot women and hookers all through Vegas on a Saturday night. How was that, Andrew? Did I cover it? Did I cover the bet? No, it's good. That That's that's a good one. I like the, I like the what did you say, 40%? Damn, I already forgot. You could, yeah, well, no, you could, no, it's 60%. If you take Lomachenko straight, you get 60% on your money. At minus 400. I like how that sounds. That's pretty solid. And if I'm smart enough to do this in the MGM and I can get the stellar odds, and it's the only place that will let me parlay usually, um, if I can parlay that with the overs, right, at 10.5, come on, I don't think Lamachenko is knocking them out. And if I have to make a choice, tell me they're not going to let me parlay it. I'm not placing the straight bet. Uh, by the way, that to me, when they won't parlay, that means they don't believe in the bet much themselves. Um, so I would lay off and take the straight 60% on my money, paying me three grand on my five grand bet. Come on. 
eight grand in Vegas on a Saturday night. Gotta buy a couple of steaks, a couple of hookers, and a trip in the Lamborghini at the top of the strip. Give me a break. That's three grand? <sighs> Please. That's a great trip to Vegas. That's a great trip to Vegas without even batting an eye at it. I'll take it. I'll take that all day at 60%. Uh, there you go. So, Any final words, Andrew? Uh, Miguel, is he there? Yeah, I'm still here. Yep. All right. Um, you know, Lopez is, is a few hours away from possibly uh, becoming the hottest fighter in the sport. And, you know, I know he, he, on his uh, interview he said he didn't want to be called number one. And, and I won't be calling him number one, but I'll, I would be calling him the hottest fighter in the sport if he is to win uh, tomorrow night. It's, uh, it's a big opportunity for him. Um, you know, I hope it, it's not too big. I will be rooting for him. But uh, they, he's, he's going up against one of the the greatest fighters of this era and 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 he's not out of his prime I, you know you could say Lomachenko's looked older in his last few fights gets touched a little more but he's he's not out of it. it's not this isn't uh someone that that you know is wounded going into the into the fight uh if Lopez gets this done he'll be top 10 he'll be the the talk of the town uh Honduras will have a fighter you, you might see something like uh, a Manny Pacquiao surgeon come where it was like, where did all these fans come from? It's that moment for him right now. Um, so we will see what happens uh, tomorrow night. Miguel Antonio Barragon, follow him at Fight Fiend Migs on both Instagram and Facebook. And feel free to check out my photos from my stellar first day in Vegas. I had a blast. Go ahead, Miguel. <laughs> Uh, well, just a, a bit of uh, a bit of history here. Um, the last time the lightweight championship was unified and well, it was an undisputed lightweight champion was Pernell Whitaker back in 1990. So, um, you know, for everybody who's going to tune in tomorrow to catch this fight, uh, we're going to have the first, uh, you know, undisputed lightweight champion since 1990 and in the four belt era. So uh, we're going to witness history tomorrow. You know, whoever wins is going to be the man in 135. And uh, the first time we've had an undisputed champion since 1990. So that's history for you. Nice. All right, here, here are my final words before I bring on a very special guest to end the show. Um, and yes, we have a special guest to end the show. Uh, first and foremost, if Teofimo wins, one of the two of them is going to have a million-dollar baby moment on the way out of the ring. It could be Vasali. Maybe Bob's oh, done with Vasali, and he falls over mm -hmm. face first into the stool, taking him out of boxing for the rest of his life. Or... Teofimo wins, and Bob's so pissed off that Teofimo takes a head dive into his corner stool and goes out million-dollar baby style. I'm just saying. Joining us on the phone from heaven, as always, to end the show, <laughs> is none other than Harold Letterman with the final scorecards of tomorrow night's fights. I turn it over to you, Harold. Ah, thanks, Jim. The Teofimo Lopez Vladimir Klitschko fight. Final <laughs> scorecards go as followed 227 to 227. 114, 111. 112, 114. And 107, 111. I don't know what fight you're watching, Jim, but Vasily Lamachenko is much bigger than Sugar Ray Leonard, and I really expect fireworks out of him on Saturday night. Back to you, Jim.